Stevens DIY Auto Repair. All right, guys, and we are back, and we're here in this 2008 Range Rover. We have a bit of focus. 181,929 miles on the clock. So guys, we got a big one here today. We got a lot of work to do on this vehicle. Uh, we got rear struts, we have AC compressor, and we also are gonna be possibly doing a transfer case, but the transfer case is not gonna happen now. Still waiting for the part to come in. Um, customer provided the struts and the AC compressor, no diagnosis. Uh, she just wants this uh, swapped out, ready for her to drive. So she needs it back ASAP. We're in a big rush. We have a lot of work, but I'm going to try to take you guys along for the ride. It's not going to be like my normal videos where I show you step by step. Um, I'll just probably be uh, popping you guys in and out, uh, maybe trying to give you guys some pointers depending on how the... the the repair goes um we may or may not even post this so um anyway guys so let's go for the ride and let's get to it so here's under the hood guys we're gonna have to take fan shroud all this stuff off air intake uh because the comp ac compressor lives down here in the bottom right hand side so we got our work cut out for us today so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this and uh, hopefully we guys, hopefully we can bring you guys along. So let's get to it. Okay. All right, guys. So we got our air cleaner box and intake air tubing out. Um, I don't think we're gonna have to remove the fan shroud. We started doing that, but I don't think we're gonna need to. Um, so anyway, to get to your tensioner, to release the tension. I came in through where the air box was, right here through the side. It's the easiest way, so we relieved the tension, took the dry belt off. So now we're gonna remove the power steering pump because that's in the way of our AC compressor here. Now, one thing to note, um, always check your local city and state laws um, because deal anytime dealing with the AC uh, system, uh, at least here in California, it's illegal to allow um, to allow it to release to the air. So it's important to properly vacuum or recover the old Freon uh, prior to opening up the system. Um, if you are not able to do it, you can always take it to a shop, get it done there. Um, or if your system is completely empty, then that's fine. So just a note on that. So we're gonna go ahead, I'll show you the power steering pump. We're gonna get that removed so we can get to our AC compressor bolts holding it in. So let's get to it. So there's your power steering pump. As you can see, one fastener is on bottom. There's another one on top. If you spin the pulley, you can see there's windows in there. It'll give you access to the fasteners and then if you come on the back, you have two there on the back side. All right, guys, so for the two on the rear, they're gonna be 13 millimeter, and we just took a flex head ratchet, and we were able to crack both of those loose. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those, and then we'll take you to the front. Okay, guys, so we're underneath, and as you can see, we have a small extension, and we rotated it to gain access to the fastener. So this is our last one. We already took one off. And I lied to you guys, they're not 13 millimeter, they're 10 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off and then we'll bring you guys right back. All right guys, so we got one fastener on the rear of the AC compressor. And as you could see, I fetched a long extension up there. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter and then we got our power steering pump removed. Once you get that removed, you have access to your bottom fastener. If you guys can see that. And then you have one up top. So we're gonna go ahead and knock those out and we'll bring you guys right back. 
All right, guys, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. We took out our two, uh, we took out our bottom and our rear AC compressor bolts. We still have one up here, but we went ahead and disconnected. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect all the connectors and the AC lines. And the AC lines are gonna be a 10 millimeter. So the first one there that you see open, easy to get to right here. However, the back one, you're gonna need a extension with a wobble socket on it and you can get it right off. So we're gonna finish this up and we'll bring you guys right back. Okay guys, I don't know how well you're gonna see this, but on the top one, we just took a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench and we're gonna go ahead and take this off. We removed all of our connectors and our lines. So I'll bring you back once we have this out. All right guys, so we got our last bolt out here on top. It's a little tricky and a, basically a pain in the ass. Um, but if you maneuver your compressor just right, you'll be able to thread it out enough to get it out even past the subframe here. Uh, our compressor went ahead and is all the way out. So we're gonna remove it, compare it to the new one, which is basically a used one and we're gonna pop it back in so we'll be right back okay guys so it's a little bit of a puzzle but you can pull it right through this opening just like this with the pulley facing you and just pull it right out it's a little bit of a wiggle and squiggle but it comes right out guys so we're gonna go ahead and compare it to the new used one and then put this all back together so we'll bring you guys right back all right guys, so we're gonna compare the compressors. Here's uh, this tag. It's from LKQ, which is a uh, junkyard. So we're gonna go ahead and compare these really well and then put it in. All right guys, so we got our air uh, AC compressor back in, fully stalled, and we recharged the AC. Ah, you feel that guys? Nice and cold. Wait a minute, you guys can't feel it. But take my word guys, nice and cold. Uh, a lot better than what it was when we picked it up. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the rear shocks and uh, I'll bring you along for the ride. Again, I'm gonna be very short with everything. I'm gonna try to do my best to uh, give you details on it, but uh, we'll see. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead. We already got our vehicle safely jacked up, so let's go. All right, guys, we got our vehicle safely jacked up with a jack, jack stands, as well as some wheels chocks. So. We're gonna go ahead and take off our tire. It's gonna be a 23 millimeter. So once I get this taken off, I'll bring you guys right back. All right guys, <clears throat> so here's our rear strut we're gonna be replacing. So at the bottom, you're gonna have this one fastener here connecting it to the knuckle and then it goes up in to the trunk area so let's take you guys around and show you what we're working with okay guys so this is a view from the rear passenger side from the passenger rear so basically all we did <clears throat> was folded up our seats all the way um, because Hopefully I'll be able to show you. So just under here, you can pull up the carpet just a little bit. And there is the three fasteners holding in the strut to the top. So we're going to go ahead and take those off and we'll bring you guys right back. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and take our bottom one off first. It's going to be a 21 millimeter.
Okay guys, so the problem is on the back side here, your nut is spinning. So you're gonna need to hold one side and unfasten the other side. So I was uh, getting a little disappointed in my Milwaukee there. I thought it didn't have the beans to bust it loose, but it did, but it's just the nut spinning. So we're gonna go ahead and get this off and we'll bring it right back. Once you get the nut off, and you could take this out, but we got tension on our strut. So you could just put a jack stand or a jack this up and relieve that tension off so you could get the bolt out. So once you get your tension off, then you can come over here and easily just pull out your bolt. So now let's go on the inside and remove those three fasteners. All right guys, so you guys can move this panel here. It just pops right off. And that way it'll give you a lot more room to get into your fasteners. So I'll try to show you one. So there's three 16 millimeter fasteners. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you guys. I need both of my hands. So basically <clears throat> they're gonna be 16 millimeters. You got three, you got one there and two closer to my hand so once we remove these we'll bring you guys right back so once you remove them it just falls right out and then just fish it through and there is your old strut so we're going to go ahead and grab the new one match it up pop it in and then we're good to go Okay guys, so we have our new struts here. They're by Arnott. They give you three new fasteners for the top, which is great. So you wanna make sure, I don't really see a, uh, a marking for left or right, but you wanna take your old one and match up the orientation. So this one is gonna end up being for the left. This is the one we need for the rear passenger side so we're gonna go ahead get that installed and we'll bring you right back all right guys so we got our three top mounting bolts torqued to 40 foot pounds so we're gonna go to the bottom and torque our bottom fastener to 81 foot pounds all right guys so there you have it that is how you remove and install your AC compressor and rear strut. So you guys got a two for one special today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna end it there. Uh, just a quick note, I'll probably throw it in the video somewhere as well, but a uh, quick note on the strut orientation. Um, there's a reason why there's no left and right mark. Uh, they're universal. So all you have to do is just spin it to get it to where you need it. Um, <clears throat> kind of jump the gun on that one. Um, as well as when you're putting it up there um, You could get your hand in there. There's enough room where you can just push it in. But anyway guys, sorry uh, I was quick on the repair or at least quick on what I showed you guys uh, In a hurry to get the vehicle back to the customer. So anyway guys, we're gonna go ahead and end it there We're gonna end it with 181,930 miles on the clock Bam. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, I would appreciate it if you go down there, hit that like button. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. It takes a couple seconds and I would greatly appreciate it. So anyway, guys, hope you like this video. If you guys did, hit that like button. If you guys would like to be notified when I put out another video, make sure to hit that bell notification. And as always, guys, please subscribe to my channel for more informational videos and DIY projects. And as always, guys, until next time, have a good one.